Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about postnatal incontinence again. So this is, of course, this information you can use with any of your populations in the studio. It's really important information for anyone. So in the Pilates studio, sometimes we hear the cue of activate your pelvic floor. <laughs> and you know, that seems very elusive to a lot of people. Um, and even though we have all these intricate and detailed cues and sometimes we're using props and et cetera, et cetera, to help people find it, they can't. They have no idea what we're talking about. And they're squeezing around their glutes and their quadriceps and pulling in their belly and it's nowhere near the, the muscles that need to be working. So those very, those very proximal muscles that are so hard for people to find. Now, I'm gonna give you a suggestion, and you might have heard this before, but there's a warning to this. This should not be used a lot. Only at the most once a month. And it's only for people to find and really sense the awareness of these pelvic floor muscles. So it's, it's the stop test. And when you're using the stop test for urine, again, you want to only do this at the most once a month. Your urinary system is a delicate, delicate reflex and you do not want to mess with that. And if you do this exercise too much, you're going to mess with it. So just, again, only once a month, at the most. So the stop test, you, you start to urinate and in the middle of your stream, you try to stop it. And those who are really suffering with incontinence might not be able to do that. But what you want to sense are those muscles that actually help you to stop the urine. And the idea here is that you try to memorize that, you try to sense that so that you can use that memory to call up again when you're actually doing your pelvic floor work. Very, very important. Now, there's another stop test that you can actually do, do more, that um, is on the back side of the pelvic floor. And I want you to remember the pelvic floor is a whole. It's innervated by the pudendal nerves. So when I'm talking to the front of the pelvic floor, I'm talking to my whole pelvic floor, Everything is activating to a certain percentage. And when I'm talking to the back of my pelvic floor, same thing. So when you are called to have a bowel movement, try to hold it off, right? So that is cueing the back of your pelvic floor. When you're called to pass gas, try to hold it, right? So again, activating the back um, to, to stop. So when we are trying to activate the back of our pelvic floor, especially if we're trying to stop gas or bowel movement, the natural thing that people will do is squeeze their butt a lot. And so I want you to really visualize, maybe sit down, keep the bones wide, and on the exhale, imagine that you're just pulling up that inner elastic of your internal anal sphincter right, but the bones stay the same. You're not trying to shorten, you're just trying to pull up and close. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.